Morning guys, so I'm turning 40 next month, so I thought I'd um, do a couple of upgrades. The big birthday present to myself is a 10G internet connection. The silly thing is, is the router that the 10G connection sort of requires, the better ones are really expensive and quite noisy, so I'm having to settle with like a passively cooled Microtech 1009 model, which doesn't can't really sort of use the whole 10G internet connection that I bought and furthermore it only has like one SFP plus port coming in and there's no way to get the SFP uh, into my study you know my fiber termination point over there so I can't actually get my the full 10G connection into this room sorry um, in other news I bought um, a, a machine to to run BSD on actually, um, but I think it will probably be quite good as a NAS. I've always been against a NAS at home, um, like having to prefer like putting my data on S3. But at the same time, since you well know the the MacBook um, Pro, which I edit on, it hardly has any space at all. And I need the space, so I end up basically relying on an external hard drive, which I have plugged into um, a Raspberry Pi at the moment. And obviously the performance is like, you know, four or five mega second, which is just terrible when I want to get things done. So I'm hoping this thing, even though it's like five or six years old, this um, ProLine Microserver Generation 8, nothing to do with Generation 8 of Intel, this can hopefully give me setting close to 100 megabytes a second on a gigabit network. Um, and it's, let's see if I can get closer on this bad boy. I quite, I quite like, um, I don't know, I've, I've, I have been lucky, well not, it's not that lucky. I have played around with IBM E servers, I think, in the past. Um, it's, it's basically, it's nice when you're dealing with like, I don't know, HP or IBM equipment sometimes because it's you can see that they've actually designed the chassis and the bits and bobs like, uh, you know, and the, um, the switches are, are quite well designed. Um, it's a Celeron on side. So it's nice to see that sort of stuff. It's rusted a little bit here. It says not hot hot plug. Okay, not hot plug. This the IBM I'm not sure how this comes out, but it is a bit flimsy this, but the IBM ones I've seen are much better. So yeah, the, the guy that I bought this from um, sold it to me for two hundred and fifty sing dollars. So hopefully that's a good price. It doesn't come with any discs. Uh, it's got eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, Celeron, as I mentioned. It definitely runs BSD because that's what he's running before. So, open BSD or free BSD, guys. You let me know. Um, I'm kind of tempted to run free NAS on it just to see what kind of experience it gives. Um, but ultimately, I imagine you know I want a dev environment here. I want to I want to probably run my ISC client and um, and probably compile some things from time to time. So maybe FreeNAS isn't right for me. Um, and yeah, and to be honest, I probably won't have a RAID set up because I'm always. But stressed out by RAID. Uh, I, I don't want to lose data <laughs> because I, I I will have a regime of backing up to to S3. So if I have the data here and as well as S3, I I really don't see the point of of like you know wasting you know a, a six terabyte disk is like three hundred and fifty dollars. I don't want to times two that just for some extra redundancy that I already will have. I wonder what this is for service tool that's quite cool isn't it um so 
Cool thing about my LG screen, it does have a VGA port. I've just connected it up. So let's see the first post together, shall we? Let's see the first post. Let's call the post, right? Thanks, Emmanuel, for lending me an old VGA cable, which I didn't have. This, and, yeah, and I do love the fact that this screen has a VGA port. Oh, I need to plug it in still, don't I? What should I unplug? I'll unplug my, my kid's lamp. I'm a bit worried about the noise of this. A bit worried, but he, he, he did, the guy who sold it to me said it was not noisy and I think he's got a point. I mean, there's, there's only like one big fan at the back here. Takes a while to boot up. Okay, oh no. Come on, we're on to life. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Post. Now we have to choose the input. Yes, there was something there. And then it just turned off. Proline bus, 10% early processor initialization. ILO, what's ILO? And so, does anyone know what ILO means? Is important. 10110. Status code 0164 T78. I, I really hope this fan chills out. It should just say no, no OS, I guess. No operating system. Redundant ROM. Hyperthreading is not supported. I think it is 64 bit though. Oh, there is a RAID controller on here. Oh, I'm not too sure about hardware RAID, guys. I'm really not too sure. No drives detected. Skip, skip. Get a keyboard down. Four. ILO for standard. What is ILO? F10 for intelligent. Let's try this int intelligent, whatever. Intelligent provisioning. Inside the diagnostics. Oh, it's booting Linux. It's just the grub menu or Syslinux menu. Guess it's got some sort of internal thing. Okay, takes a while to boot. Loading drivers. Oh my God, this doesn't seem to be put together that well. Starting Nginx, starting Bender. There's no CD-ROM in here. Health monitor. Oh, it's got a mouse. Oh, it's launched Firefox. How does this 
ever happened to me. It's got two. It's got two network uh, interfaces. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? It's got quite a lot of USB ports. I think at least uh, six. From what I can see. I don't know if there is some update I need to be or something. Any of my viewers have one of these bad boys? Oops. One point six two. So just running in a browser, I think. Yep. It's using something like I wonder what window manager I use, but I can I can drag the window with Alt. Um, it's even got a PCI slot. What can I do with that? Anyway, um, thanks for watching this far. Any BSD users out there? I I think it is worth me just spending a little time with BSD. I'm always curious to see how other systems operate and what ideas I can glean. Theodorat, I think, is also South African, much like myself. And uh, what else is there to say? Yeah, the, the BSD is, I think, a bit more suckless than the billion lines of Linux, right? So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to BSD. I'm not looking forward to all this RAID disk palaver, but I do want it to host about, I don't know, five terabytes of of local storage, which is gonna be synced up to the cloud. So that's my evil plan. Um, hopefully with you guys' help, I'll, I'll get there and I'll probably share some whatever, whatever I learned along the way. BSD, here I come. Please like the video. Bye, guys. <laughs> Turn this thing off.